Today we are here to unbox Iris 9, so let's see what's inside the box. camera module. No, it's, it's like different design, beautifully designed. There's a matte finish plastic and uh, still screens. And uh, there is a uh, ultra wide angle lens. This is the ultra wide angle lens and it covers uh, the whole 90 inches of interactive surface from a distance of just 20 centimeters. It has two ports. One is mini USB port. This will be connected through a computer to the camera. Second is the same port. And this is to connect uh, the sync uh, from the camera unit to the laser. And yeah, so this is the Iris 9 camera. Second, we have is the laser unit. So we're using the finish and the color the same as the camera unit. And uh, this is the power port for the laser unit, mini USB port. And test all, uh, it's okay. Now, there is a push button on the laser unit. You just press the push button, and the top part comes out. Inside the top part, there, like inside the top cover, there are two ports, two gears, and these gears are used to align the laser unit when it's installed on whiteboard or wall setup. There's a push button also. You press the push button, and there is a red visible laser that turns on. It helps you. It guides you to align the laser on the setup. Also, uh, one important thing: this is a class one certified laser, so it's pretty safe to install it in a classroom. Iris 9 unit comes with two super capacitive styluses and you charge these for just three minutes and they give you backup of up to three to four hours. They don't contain any lithium ion battery inside it, so it's pretty lightweight and it feels just like very natural to use the styluses. Feels as if you are using a whiteboard marker. And uh, so this has a mini USB port to charge the stylus. There is an indicator uh, LED also on it. So to check if the stylus is charged or not, currently it's not glowing because the stylus are not charged. So just charge them when you're uh, receiving the iris tank unit. Inside the box we have the standard mount of iris tank. Standard mount will be used to install iris tank on wall and whiteboard setup. This is has an ionized finish and gives a pretty natural look to your classroom. Feels very natural to install it and just gives an extra look to your classroom when you're installing it. Now this is to install Iris 9 on a wall or whiteboard setup. Now if you want to install Iris 9 on uh, a panel setup then you need to contact Cybernetic Support and they will send you a different kind of mount that's called Easy Mount. We'll show you the Easy Mount later. And if you want to install Iris 9 on a universal projector, like ultra short through projector, so for ultra short through projector, there is uh, a different mount that we provide. And also, you can contact the support team, they will help you guide for the mount. Now, inside the box, we have a quick start guide also. Quick start guide contains like information like what all is in this package, how to install. Uh, Iris 9 on wall setup, on wide board setup, or ultra short uh, through mount or projector setup. How are the connections working? How to install the software? How to align the laser? Everything that you need to set up Iris 9 in, the, in this quick start gate. Just refer to it before you start installing. Then we have the Iris 9 drivers. So, Iris 9 driver CD. This contains Windows drivers for Iris 9, also IntelliSpace software. IntelliSpace software is the IWB suit that comes with Iris 9. The best in the business, award winning software. Then we have the accessory box. Accessory box contain versus the accessories for the standard mount, and then the screws that you need to install standard mount on wall by to set up. Second, we have is the, the Y cable for laser unit. Y cable has mini USB port for power and sync. And there is a sync port, this will be connected via the sync cable to Iris 9 camera unit. The PM is the USB A type, this will be connected to a power adapter. Next we 
which we have is the mini USB 5 meter cable. This is to connect the camera module with uh, a PC computer. We also have the sync cable. Sync cable is 2.5 mm cable, 5 meter to connect Iris 9 to the laser Y cable. We have two charging cables, mini USB for the styluses. We have the adapter and its accessories, so whatever your socket is, you can connect the relevant uh, accessory to the adapter. We also have OptiBirds. So OptiBirds are uh, frequently used tools that you use in like day-to-day -day interactive classroom setup, so that you don't have to open any application. So now, if you want to install Iris 9 on RJ Shorter Projector, you need to ask for the universal mount. This, this is the universal mount, this is the iris plate, this is the projector plate and this plate uh, helps uh, the universal mount to be installed on any projector. So this is the universal mount. And now if you want to install iris 9 on a panel setup, so then you need to go for the easy mount. This is the easy mount, this is the plastic part of easy mount goes on top of the panel and this is the metal mount on which the iris 9 unit is installed. There is snap in mechanism to snap it in. Now it is installed on any panel. So now more about the mount and the installation details will be showing you when we are installing the iris 9.